getting pulled over right now. We're going live, H Crown. I have no guns, no nothing. Everything is good. I have nothing at all. I'll let y'all know that. And the officer's coming out now. So I'm gonna let y'all see this. doing nothing I just want to pull over somewhere where I can, where I can be at peace with myself you know what I mean I want y'all to love yourself take care of each other take care of your families stay together as black people they are trying to kill us but we didn't do nothing wrong y'all just stay focused and y'all keep God first I love y'all Everything's good with me. God is with me. Nothing gonna happen to me because I didn't do nothing wrong. I'm just trying to go somewhere where I can be at peace and be at, at, around lights. I don't want to be on the freeway. You know what I mean? So I'm pulling over. 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 All right? I just want y'all to know that. They, 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 they on me right now, y'all. Y'all see this? But I'm about to What's pull good, y'all? What's the numbers TV? It's your boy, Paul Rowe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And like a video if you appreciate the content that Paul Room was the numbers I provided. Today we back with a profile piece. This one is on H Crown. In this video we're going to talk about his time growing up in Los Angeles, California and his early entry into gangbanging. Then we will take a look at his music catalog that was created when H Crown was building his buzz as a local rapper online and in the streets of LA. Next, we will speak about his many stints in prison including his last situation that would make news headlines and currently has him in jail fighting a serious charge. Sean Jason Flores, better known as H Crown, is from the South Los Angeles section of California and was raised by his single mother. Coming up out of the 50s, a well-known gang area, H Crown would be influenced from an early age by what was going on around him. He would join the Five Deuce Hoovers when he was very young and by the age of 13, he had already been arrested for his first criminal offense. Ever since then, he would be arrested year after year never being free for more than a few months before being incarcerated again. On top of all the time spent in jail, H. Crown will also be shot and shot at multiple times by rival gangs in the years he'd been an active member of the Five Dukes Hoover Gangster Crips. During one of his stints in prison, H. Crown would start writing raps after getting encouraged by his homies and as a way to pass time. Later on down the line in 2012 after being released from jail after completing a five year sentence for robbery, he decided to pursue a rap career as a way to hopefully take a step back from the streets a bit. He would link up with West Coast rapper Tiger, who was on his way to mainstream success at the time, and become a part of his entourage in an attempt to get his foot in the door. After traveling with Tiger for a period of time and hanging around him at the studio, the two would have a falling out after H Crown asked Tiger to do a song with him. Once Tiger refused to do the track, H Crown started to look at him differently and as someone that didn't want to see others around him win. Although they had mutual friends, everybody started to pick sides and eventually split ways once they stopped hanging around each other. With all this going down, H. Crown would find out that his mom had terminal cancer, which she would pass away from soon after. With his mind all over the place, H. Crown would go on to drop a diss song towards Tiger, even further severing his ties with the rapper. But after a few months, once all the buzz around the little beef faded away, it was back to the drawing board for H. Crown. That's when he would link up with Alex Alonzo from Street Gangs TV and do an interview in his neighborhood with a few of his friends. In the interview, they would talk about the risk of gangbanging and what they see for themselves in the near future. After the interview, H Crown continued releasing new music and would stay in contact with Alex Alonzo. In 2016, the two worked together again and released My Kingdom Come, a LA rap story. The documentary will be about H Crown's journey from jail to the streets as he tried to make a name for himself in the music industry. The documentary would be a good promotional tool for H. Crown, as it gave his fans a deeper look into his life story and also answered the questions about what happened with him and Tiger. He would start to work harder than ever and eventually move around a bit, connecting with other Crip affiliates on the East Coast to record music with. 
The music video he released to his fans for a song called Stop Snitching in June of 2017 was the last we would see at H. Crown until about a month later in July when he would go on Facebook Live during a traffic stop by local police in Maryland. H. Crown would say a few things to the camera and then take the police on a high speed chase for a while before pulling over at a gas station and being arrested. Next, the news would come out that H. Crown would be in charge with murder after allegedly stabbing a man to death in Raleigh, North Carolina a few days earlier. He will be extradited from Maryland back to North Carolina to face the charges and is currently sitting in the Wake County Jail waiting for his day in court. In January of this year, 2021, H. Crown once again connected with Alex Alonzo to do an over the phone interview from jail where he would in his own words update the public on his current situation and speak about hopefully skipping trial and reaching some type of plea deal that could see him home in the near future. His fans and those in tune with H. Crown have been watching and waiting a long four years to see what the outcome of his case would be. But facing a murder charge for allegedly stabbing someone to death and stealing their car is a serious offense that carries a lot of time. But yo, it's What's the Numbers TV. There's a quick profile piece on Sean Jason Flores, better known as H. Crown, out of Los Angeles, California. A member of the Five Deuce Hoover Gangsta Crips, you know what I'm saying? Gang banging for a long time from an early age, in and out of jail his whole life. Eventually came home from jail, tried to get into the music, linked up with Tiger, had a falling out, linked up with street gangs, Alex Alonzo, started putting some documentaries and videos and things like that out, interviews and so on, till recently he ended up catching the case, well not recently, a few years back he ended up catching the case in North Carolina, gets locked up in Maryland, has a murder charge out of North Carolina, which is where he's currently right now. Now like I said in the interview, he recently, his last interview with street gangs with Alex Alonzo, I think it's street TV now. He speaks about not too many details, but he speaks about, you know, trying, like I said, skip trial and get some type of plea deal. The details of the situation supposedly is the, the, some type of fight in the house. Um, the victim had one stab wound and his car was missing. Now they say the car that um, H. Crown was pulled over in was supposedly the car that was missing. But since then, he, he ended up copping out to some type of auto charge. You know what I'm saying? They couldn't contact the owner. It's an article up, a newspaper article, but that cleared the way for him to face the murder charge, which is still what he's waiting on, you know what I'm saying, he's waiting on the outcome of that. So, you know, a lot of his fans was waiting to see what the outcome is, interest in what was going on, so I just put this video together real quick, you know, get you from the beginning, from the, everything that happened before the murder, you know what I'm saying, the rap, before the rap, and this is what y'all got, you know what I'm saying, I want the number TV profile piece on h Crown. Go follow the Instagram, hit me up for the promo. And we going like that, man. Be back before you know, man. It's What's Numbers TV? It's your boy, Polro. Shout out to y'all. We out of here. Peace.